hauntedflower.com and hauntedflowerreviews.com and I flew in today, got home at 4 a.m. in order to go see Thor. Or maybe I just happened, that's when I got home and then I went to go see Thor because I wanted to anyway. So now I can do my review for Thor. Thor was a hero I knew nothing about really before this movie. I heard a little bit about the plot and I'm like, well, that's kind of weird because most superhero origin stories are there's some ordinary guy, some nerdy guy, some guy that just doesn't have the means to do what he wants to do. And then somehow a radioactive spider or a crazy ring or something happens and suddenly he has crazy powers or maybe he's rich and he just buys a bunch of things so he can fight crime. In any case, everyone has an origin story where they go from nada to awesome. Well, Thor is the backwards superhero story because he starts out awesome, but has a bad attitude. He's a little cocky, and he thinks he knows how he's going to do everything, but he doesn't. And he needs to be kind of taught a lesson. In Thor's origin story, he is kind of banished from his kingdom, his realm, by his father for being a jerk and maybe unnecessarily putting everyone in danger with threat of a war. Well, on Earth, maybe he meets a few people, maybe he learns a few life lessons, but in any case, this is an entertaining film and one you should definitely go see. I honestly had my doubts when I heard that Kenneth Branagh was going to be the director because he's a Shakespeare guy. What's he doing with a superhero movie? But when you watch the movie, it seems completely the right thing to do because the guy knows kings, he knows royalty, he knows attitudes, and it is kind of a Shakespearean drama in a way in the relationships between Thor, his brother, his father. This movie has really great casting. Chris Hemsworth, whom I only remembered as being Kirk's dad in the new Star Trek movie, oh my gosh, perfect for this role. You look at the guy and you're like, well, yeah, obviously that's Thor. I mean, he looks exactly the part. He's all Nordic and he's crazy beefy and cut. It's scary, but you absolutely believe that he's a god from another planet. Natalie Portman. Who wouldn't want Natalie Portman as your female lead? Jane Foster is, you know, a smart science person who okay, admittedly, gets a little like hee hee as soon as she sees a guy with muscles. Tom Hiddleston plays Thor's brother, Loki. Let's face it, whenever there's two brothers going for the crown, it's not all gonna be rosy. Anthony Hopkins is an excellent father as Odin. I mean, he just has the stature and the maturity and just the regality that you need. I mean, he does have a sir in his name. Stellan Skarsgård and Kat Dennings flesh out Jane Foster's science team. And then you've got a really awesome woman warrior who kicks butt who is played by uh, Jamie Alexander. Yes, I cheated and looked. So the casting is awesome. And then you've got the scenery. This place that he is from is amazing. It looks like some sort of crazy heavens in space. And there's like these crazy rainbow glass bridge looking things. And then when you go to the other world, that's like the ice planet. It's all dark and scary and cold and they're fighting. And then, you know, Earth is Earth and it's kind of boring on Earth. But when you get to go back to the other places, it's really cool. Thor becomes a humble human and he has to learn humility and he needs to figure out how to get back in his father's good graces and what it will take for him to be able to pick up his hammer again and start kicking ass with a hammer. There's so many great funny moments in the beginning of the movie where he's like, how dare you talk to me like this and like somebody will tase him or something. Or he keeps getting hit with a car. It's really awesome to see this guy who's all ha ha get taken down to ha ha and then find his actual place by the end of the film. Yes, there is a scene after the credits. Do not leave during the credits. You know there's going to be a scene there. Definitely want to watch this. Let's go see it or I will hit you with a hammer. That is all. Thank you for watching my review. See you next time. Bye. Go to hauntedflower.com and check out the two designs for Japan-inspired t-shirts we are selling right now. All of the profits from these t-shirts will go towards the Japan Relief Fund that we are working on with Anime Fans Give Back to Japan over at Global Giving. For more reviews and to find out about free contest giveaways, go to hauntedflowerreviews.com. My reviews are also available as a podcast on iTunes. Search for Haunted Flower Reviews and subscribe and leave us feedback and comments. 
Our store is hauntedflower.com, where we specialize in fantastic licensed apparel from movies, TV shows, video games, anime, and more. You can find us on Facebook at facebook.com slash hauntedflower and Twitter at haunted underscore flower. If you're local to the Indianapolis area, visit IndieMojo.com for details on how you can win free screening passes. 